Flutterwave store is one of the easiest places to sell and make money if you want to know how to make money online in Nigeria or anywhere else around the world. With Flutterwave e-store, everything you need to sell your e-commerce product and services is already pre-made for you. You don't need a website or learn anything about design. In this video, I will show you my 5 secret acts to massively improve your sales on Flutterwave e-store. You can use this method on any other e-store also. If you're ready for this, then let's get started. Now, if you don't have your Flutterwave e-store and you love to set one up quickly, then watch the video currently displayed on your screen. I show you simple ways to set up your Flutterwave e-store even if you don't know any jack about setting up an e-store. Is the simplest Easter setup on earth. To get started, you also need to have a Flutterwave account. So if you don't have one already, I have also recorded a two minute video that walk you through your Flutterwave account opening process. I will leave both video links in the description below this video. Make sure you check them up. If you are on this channel for the first time and you love to see more marketing, content marketing and make money videos like this, then hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my videos. So, if you already have your Flutterwave store and you want to learn my secret acts to making more sales with your Flutterwave e-store, let's go on and let me show you. Now, before I go deeper to show you how you can promote your Flutterwave store and make more sales, there are some basic rules that you should start up with as a business owner. One of them is to talk more about your product and don't stop sharing your product links on your social handles. Don't just share the links in boring ways but always think outside the box and try to use interesting means to push your product links. Also, if a new customer buys from you, never you allow your customer to just walk away. In marketing, it is always easier to sell the next product to your existing customers than trying to sell to a new person. This means that you must treat your customers like kings and queens from the very first sale you make to them. Remember, first impression lasts long. Okay, now that we are clear on these basic marketing rules, let's go ahead and let's dive into my 5 secret acts to make more money and get more sales on your Flutterwave e-store or any other e-store for that matter. The more product you have in your e-store, the more variety you have to show your buyers and each product will always act as a soldier to bring its own share of traffic to your e-shop. To add products to your Flutterwave e-store, just log into your Flutterwave account, come to store, products, add products. As usual, fix all your product information and nice images. You can add as much as 5 images per product. Make sure you take advantage of it. And once done, save and preview it. Sometimes, discounts can be more emotional than real. But everyone loves discounts. You do also. If you can afford to, then set up deals and give discounts periodically. Sometimes, people don't even bring down the prices of their products, but they just raise the actual price and then use the normal price as discount. Well, I am not exactly asking you to do that because some of your customers will still get to know but I am just saying that if you can't afford to drop prices for any reason then that is an option for you to consider. To give discount on Flutterwave is easy. All you have to do is to set up a discount code so that anytime your customers apply this code then the price is reduced automatically. To set up discount code on Flutterwave, come to store discount code create a discount code now manually add your discount code here or you can click the auto generate button here to automatically generate one for you tick this box and in the product display select which of your product that you want this code to work for if you don't tick the box and select then this setup will automatically apply on all your products here at discount value, I always think it's better to use percentages, especially if you're applying this discount on all your products. 
So if I want a 5% of the actual price to be reduced, for instance, I will select percentages and then add 5. Do your calculation to know how much the actual price of your percentage will be before adding it up. Meanwhile, you can also use the actual amount also. Here at usage limits, limited number of times this discount code can be used in total. If you tick this box, then you can add the number of times your customers can enjoy this price reduction. If you type 1 here, then once your buyers buy one time using that code, then the code will no longer work. Same as twice or three times and so on. But if you want the code to work unlimited, then leave this box unticked. The second box is straightforward. Limit to one use per customer. If you tick this box, then one customer can only use this code just once. Here is the start date of your promo and here is the end date. Once you are done with your settings, go ahead and save it. So let's check how this will look like when your customer wants to shop. So I'll copy the product link. So here I will impute the product promo code and as you can see the percentage reduction has been effected. Reviews are tick and one of the most important features of e-commerce. According to a recent statistics, 95% of customers read online reviews before buying a product. If you're doubting the power of product reviews, then go ahead and check out what is happening on Amazon or even a simple app like your Play Store. Most buyers read reviews and because most times the seller cannot manipulate these reviews, then they are quite believable. All you have to do is make sure that your customers enjoy your product or service and they will easily give you a 4 or 5 star review rating. So, once your customer buys your product, just encourage them to leave a review for you. I can assure you that it will work wonders for other customers who are trying to check up on your product if they should buy it or not. Do you know that people save money especially to shop during holidays? And when we talk about holidays, it doesn't have to be only the big Christmas holidays and other holidays like that. There are various holidays all over the world that you can take advantage of as an e-commerce business owner. What makes holidays a great period to sell more products is because most people understand that sellers and e-commerce stores usually drop prices during these periods. So, be it a Black Friday, Easter, Christmas, or even international holidays like the Thanksgiving, make sure you target those periods because people save for those special periods so that they can shop cheaper. And finally, you can take your marketing to the next level by running active ads to your Flutterwave store. There are two methods I want to mention here. Number one is to register your store on the Flutterwave marketplace. And the second option is to run social media ad campaign. My bigger recommendation for this purpose is usually the Facebook ad. But this is another topic on its own and so I will not be going into it in this video. If you want me to record a comprehensive tutorial on how to run a profitable ad to your Flutterwave store, then let me know in the comment section and if I see major interest from you guys, then I will go ahead and do that. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you want to see marketing videos like this and please if this video has delivered value in any form then please help me by giving it a like. It will help support my channel and push this video to more people who need information like this. Thank you for watching to the end and see you in the next one.